Princess. Welcome to 50 Spy YouTube channel for the week. Today we're going to talk about five pairs of shoes that we think is important to have during the summer. Diane and I both brought um, five of our summer essential shoes and um, we're going to go through them one at a time and just go through some of the reasons why we think they're um, essential and what we'll probably wear them with and give you some tips as to how to style them. So the first thing we're going to start with is a pair of slides. We think a pair of slides is probably one of the more functional pieces in a, in a woman's foot closet. Um, first of all, as you can see, they're easy to slide into, so they're a good go-to for when you have to run to the grocery store or maybe to pick up the kids or anything that you have to do in a hurry. Um, I suggest you get a really good leather pair of these because I believe this would be one of your most worn shoes of the summer. Um, one word of caution with these, if you have a really narrow foot, you might want to um, really try these on well in the store to make sure your foot doesn't slip right through. Um, Diane has a narrow foot and that's often a problem for her, that's why mm -hmm. I can tell you. I, on the other hand, I have a wide foot, so these are no problem at all. And uh, as I said, you can wear these with just about everything. I wouldn't recommend them on a rainy day because, you know, your toes get wet and it kind of feels, feels icky. But any other occasion, they're perfect go-to to get you through the summer months. I actually have three pairs of slides <laughs> on the table because obviously they're easy to get into. She's always a bit extra. <laughs> but And flat. For me, it's a go-to. I won't lie, I'm not crazy about heels. I They're not comfortable for me and I've never been a heel person. I think because I've been a nurse for 30 years and I'm used to wearing flats or running shoes. So heels are like a photo op. <laughs> so um, practically speaking, I really love these ones. They're a nice burst of color, good and flat. They're leather. And these, are, I'm sure you've all noticed, they're sort of like a Hermes wannabe shoe. But they're good quality and just one of my favorite go-tos for jeans. You can wear them with dresses. I love them. Okay, the second um, pair of shoes that we think is an essential um, is a pair of sneakers. Sneakers, running shoes, whatever you choose to call them. And um, if any of you guys have noticed, running shoes are having a moment right now. Um, they're worn with just about everything. They're worn dressed up, dressed down. Um, I chose this pair because um, they're, they're not fussy. But, you know, if you're wanting a more happening and your running shoes, that's okay. Yeah, Fendi's not fussy. <laughs> that's what the F is for, not fussy Fendi's. That's right, fuss less Fendi's. <laughs> anyway, the one thing I, I, I recommend is if you have a, a white pair, try to keep them nice and clean. And just a damp cloth with some soap does a good job of that. Um, again, um, I wouldn't recommend them on a really rainy day where you would get mud and slush on it, but any other occasion, they're perfectly fine. And as I said, they can, you know, you can wear them with jeans for just a, a, a coffee with the girls, or you can wear them with a pretty dress and be more formal with them, so the choice is yours. Especially the no fuss <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so my sneaker choice was um, the traditional Adidas. Three stripes, and these come in like every color right now. And I think the pink is nice and summery, so I have this pair, and again, you can wear them up and dress them down. Yeah, can't go wrong with a pair of running shoes these days. And the thing is, um, they're good for men and women as well, right. right? So if your husband has a smaller foot, maybe you can get a use out of his. No, he's not gonna wear my pink shoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my third choice, I went with a pair of strappy sandals. And I went with a white, because white, you know, can go with just about everything. Um, one word of caution, if you're wearing strappy sandals, it's a good idea maybe just to have a, a nice pedicure because nothing hides your foot in these. Um, we went with these pair. They're actually a pair that was gifted to us. Um, they're a pair of Sarah Flint's. And um, incidentally, if you use our code um, Sarah Flint, S-A-R-A-H Flint, um, dash BA50 Spine, you get a $50 off your first purchase. So bear that in mind. Um, this one, it has about a one and a half inch heel, which is just perfect for me. And um, this one, I wouldn't wear to the supermarket or anything like that. Maybe to you know a summer um, brunch or maybe even a summer wedding, this would be appropriate for. Okay, my third pair of shoes is again, not a flat, comfortable, sensible shoe. 
And this one is kind of trending, these um, bulky braided type things oh, sure, in every sure. color. And I actually have a few colors in these and I have the different sizes of heels. But this was my go-to one this year for the summer. It's black, it can be worn with everything. Love it, it's comfortable. Although sometimes when you wear these, they can sort of threaten your life by a few hours later. They, like Your toes get circulation issues here. But if you've got a big enough size, and these straps being really thick, that's not exactly gonna happen. Like some others, but yeah, actually, <laughs> you should have a backup here probably yeah. if you've got heels with a single strap across. I, I like that strap because, as you said, the single strap mm -hmm. sometimes it could be a torture instrument. That's right. But this one looks quite comfortable. Okay, so moving right along, the other pair I went with was a pair of wedges. And for me, this one was an excellent choice because it gives me a bit of height. And I can literally wear these all day. We wore these, I wore these on vacation and I was able to survive, you know, for maybe half a day or so just walking around. Um, the, the good thing about the, the wedges, as I said, you get the height with the comfort. So if it's an occasion where you have to be on your feet for a long time, this I think would be a really good choice. I went with a, this kind of um, brown burgundy color because it goes with just about everything. And um, the, uh, I wear a lot of black in the winter, so I figured, you know, this is a good time for me to get away from black. And this brown is a really good option. I've got one of those too. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> so for people like myself who are not good with high heel, this is the perfect type of platform and chunky heel that we can wear and get away with actually having, I wore these um, last weekend to a function and I was able to wear them for the whole day. The first few hours were a little tenuous. I thought that I might fall and snap my little ankles. But as the day went on, I was more comfortable and it gave me such height. This is, actually it looks taller than it is because of the wedges or the platforms. But um, it was quite a comfortable shoe. So as you can see, your foot's pretty well on the same level here. Yeah. And this color this summer, oh my okay, gosh, everybody oh my has gosh. to have one. Yeah. So I, I'm actually probably going to get a lot more wear out of these than I thought I would with the, the comfort. They are a statement piece, if I may say so myself. Really, really beautiful. Okay, so my last choice is a pair of nude pumps. Um, some other color options for the summer would probably be tan or white or off-white beige, but I have this nude pair. I've had them for a while, and the thing about um, nude pumps is that they never seem to go out of fashion. Um, these ones I would wear to a dress theater event, maybe to you know a ballet or, or a evening concert or something like that. Um, they're really good, you know, if your toes are not freshly manicured, they're certainly covered. And um, this height is about, I'll uh, say two, two and a half inches, and it's perfect for me. So this is my final choice for our footwear collection. Okay. So my final choice today are these shoes. And I think if you're old enough, you'll know that they're called slim backs. We were just Googling <laughs> that actually. Um, the shoes with a strap in the back, they're slim backs, and they're pumps with slim backs. With this reasonable size heel, it's about two and a half inches. And something about the way these are curved, they look to me nicer than just a kitten heel. Sometimes I feel like the kitten heel is like a bedroom shoe. But to me, this was a little more dressy and somewhat different. These shoes are from Zara, so you know, they're not too expensive, but it's a great burst of color for the summer. And again, I might just add, these ones are from Zara as well. You can always tell when these fashionable things come out. You can always grab those at Zara. These were extremely inexpensive. I can't remember where the pick They don't even have a name. Oh, hmm. Sirens? Was it Sirens? These were at Sirens. Yeah. Again, I'm not trying to keep this shoe for the rest of my life. It's, you know, but it's a good thing for the summer. These are Dune of London, a really good brand, and they came from the Bay. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so that you can get a notification every time we post. Bye. Bye.